I don't normally get emotional um, on the program, but I just I wanted to take a moment to address something that really bothers me personally. And you guys don't have to worry about this. I, I don't I don't need a minute or Stay anything. Stay strong, buddy. Stay strong. No, oh, hug it out. Oh. I'm really. I'm really hurting on the inside because the political left loves to say that conservatives and Republicans don't have empathy. As a matter of fact, um, progressives are already using this as a strategy to try to win the 2014 midterm elections. And I honestly have no idea what they're talking about. I mean, apparently, we are big meanies because we think that providing economic opportunity, not through government and not a government handout, is the best way to lift people out of poverty. And I, I know there are, there are some progressives out there watching tonight, so... Let me see if I can do my best to change some minds. And, and don't judge. Please just hear me out because it's really upsetting that you think conservatives are really bad people. First, um, let me introduce you to my friend Jameson here. And Brandon. That's a very nice, comfortable sweater. I should have worn one of those today. He's a beagle. And he loves to play in the park with his other doggy friends. His favorite treat is peanut butter. And he likes to collect sticks. As you can see, I do care. Just call me uh, a Care Bear. I mean, maybe we should take the letter C in conservative and change it so it stands for caring. Anyway, um, I about the war on, on poverty, see, as, as a conservative, I prefer charity, not endless government programs as a support system to provide assistance to those that are less fortunate. I mean, the government doesn't do a very good job of it. Economic growth, creating opportunity, that's the real way to lift people out of poverty instead of giving them a government check. I mean, we should, we should create an environment where people can actually get a job, performing welfare to reinstate maybe, oh, I don't know, the, the work requirement we had in the 1990s. That's also a, an idea we should look at. The Democrats always talk about letting people keep their dignity. Well, that might do it, you know, while helping develop workplace skills. Finally, let's turn over social welfare programs to the states and the local governments. I mean, these should be run locally. I mean, after all, local governments know their residents best. It's also more cost effective and it cuts down on the bureaucracy. And lastly, did I mention how cute puppies are? I got an idea. Why don't we, um, why don't we offer a free government puppy to every man, woman, and child to, you know, Get them through the tough times. I mean, we wouldn't want the animals to suffer, so we'd have to have another government program for the time being, you know, like a supplemental nutritional assistance program because even the puppies need a helping hand or paw. Well, here to talk about this is Tom Basile, former executive director of the New York State Republican Party and contributor to Forbes. So let's start there. The government providing a free puppy to every man, woman, and child in these tough times. Look, it'll make everybody feel better. And it, how much could it possibly cost? Another two, three, four hundred million dollars, a new agency, and about five or six thousand new federal employees to do it? I mean, that's nothing. It would be worth every penny. Every penny. 